Hey guys, welcome back to Fantasy Food Show. I'm Nick, and if you couldn't tell, I am a huge fan of the films of Hayao Miyazaki. And I was watching Spirited Away again the other night, one of my favorite films, and there's little sprites, there's little uh, animated pieces of soot called soot sprites, and they help in the furnace, carrying little pieces of coal, keeping the fire going. So I thought it would be fun today to make something in the theme of that creature. So I have made these chocolate soot sprite truffles. Let me show you how it's done. To make the truffles, you will need some chocolate, heavy cream, some Oreo type cookies. I'm using JoJo's from Trader Joe's today, white candy melts, black candy melts, vanilla extract, and for decoration, some little candy stars or sprinkles. And I'll put all of the quantities on the website, fantasyfoodshow.com. You'll also need a few plastic cutting boards, large mixing bowls, and make sure one of them is heat proof, a large whisk, a one and a half inch ice cream scoop, a butter knife, a large cutting knife, a small saucepan, a rolling pin, some pastry bags fitted with small round tips, or you could use plastic sandwich bags with the ends cut off, some wax paper, and a large Ziploc bag. You'll also need to print out the template, which can be found on the website. So the first thing we're going to do is going to chop the chocolate. You want to do this really finely so that when the cream, uh, the melted cream goes onto the chocolate, it melts, you know, really easily. So let's chop chop. Chop the chocolate either by hand or in a food processor and then put the chocolate into the heat proof bowl. Heat the cream on the stove until it just begins to boil. Then take it off the heat, add the vanilla, and pour it over the chocolate. Using a sieve helps to keep out any thick bits of cream. Let it sit a few seconds, then whisk the cream and chocolate until it becomes a beautiful and glossy ganache. Let the truffle mixture firm up at room temperature for a few hours, or speed up the process by popping it into the fridge for about an hour. Just keep checking it so it doesn't firm up too much. We want to be able to get our ice cream scoop through the mixture later. While my truffles are setting in the fridge, I'm going to get on with taking the cream out of my cookies. So I'll just take my cookies here. You see I've got some Halloween JoJo's, they're orange creams. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just take them apart, take my knife, and just scrape that cream into the bowl, and do that on both sides. And if you get one like this, you can just go like that, just to check that it's not, you know, bad or anything. Put the cookies into the large Ziploc bag and crush them up with your rolling pin until they're a fine crumb. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use your hands, a can of soup, or whatever you have laying about. Okay, it is time to make the eyes for our truffles. Uh, I think it would be very nice of us to give them the gift of sight. We are their creators after all. So, do you remember the template I had you print out from before? You're going to take your wax paper and your template and a little bit of scotch tape and you're going to flip... Well, you don't need to flip that over, it's the same on both sides. But flip your template over onto your wax paper and then take a little scotch tape and just tape it to the wax paper. I'm going to do all four sides. And so it looks like that. All right, so now we can get on with making the eyes. So remember those candy melts from before? Well, I melted them in the microwave. I did that at one minute, 50% power in a microwave safe bowl, gave it a stir, and then 30 seconds, 50% power stir, 20 seconds stir, 50%. Um, just do that until they're completely melted. And then I put them into the piping bags that I had fitted with small round tips. And I haven't been using them for a little while. I microwaved them a bit ago. So I put them in a bowl of warm water just to keep, um, keep from solidifying. So let's see how they do. Don't burn yourself like I'm probably gonna do. Put that away. Just, I have a little bit of extra parchment paper over here just to check the consistency. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Pipe the whites of the eyes with the white candy melt and shake the paper back and forth to smooth out the chocolate. Before the candy sets, go back over with the black candy melts to make the pupils. Once the truffle mixture has set up, scoop out the chocolate with your ice cream scoop. This recipe should make about 12 truffles of this size. 
The next part's going to get quite messy, so I recommend wearing gloves. Roll the truffles between your hands and drop them into the bag of cookie crumbs. Give them a good shake around to coat them in their soot. Remove them from the bag and then it's time to decorate. Peel the eyes from the wax paper and use a little more of the melted white candy melt on the back of the eyes and stick them onto the truffles. If you find the eyes difficult to handle, you can always use tweezers or apply the melted candy melt directly onto the truffles first. Finally, sprinkle over the candy stars, their favorite food. And there they are, my chocolate soot sprite truffles from Spirited Away. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and are you a Miyazaki fan? If so, let me know what your favorite one of his films are in the comment section below. And is there a treat that you'd like to see me make? Perhaps another demon, another sprite, something else from the series? If so, put your request in the comments. Check out our website, fantasyfoodshow.com, and I'll see you next week.